You want to see me drop some chorizo? I gotta explain what happened. Let's pretend like I know how to use one of these. Just water. So I bought some ancho peppers and I try to make ancho salsa like I've tried to make it like one time and the only reason I think I sucked at it was because I didn't know or understand that when the peppers were dry you had to boil them you couldn't just cook them on the grill uh, contrary to what people believe black peppers are actually not spicy they're sweet I know this because I'm Mexican and I've been eating them for like all my life Let's see is there even a flame yeah like I said I never cook with this stuff what all did we get? We got some... What's this one? Oh, this is like... Dude named everything weird, but this is basically like... Steak with bone in it. Frasada. Chorizo. Probably gonna cook that very last. It's gonna be really good. I got like two pounds of pollo. Uh, normally it's called like pollo enchilada, but because they had like weird cuts, they said it was different. Um, and I got queso fresco and a cebollita. What's the cebollita? I'm gonna have to use for both flavor in the salsa and flavor to clean the grill. If I was cooking for other people, I wouldn't do this, but since it's just me, I'm about to do it. Pasador. A little bit for the salsa, not a lot though. I got my mocajete that I use like maybe twice a year. So you're going to see me use my mocajete like the second time this year. I, yeah, I have used it once this year. Yep. I guess it's gonna boil. I don't really know. Oh yeah, let's turn it up. When you don't know what you're doing, just add more heat. Mexicans from Mexico. This is literally what they do to clear off a grill rack. I don't want to fight about it. I've done it all my life. I've never got sick. I've never got poisoned. Never got ill. I just want there to be awareness out there. I know this is hot because I did touch it on the on the side. Oh, it's I hear the water. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I don't need to add the stems. But I'm gonna add the stems. Oh, those are bigger than I thought they were. It's okay. It's okay. I don't need a lot of onion. And for real, I have no idea how to make this. So if it turns out bad, I'm not gonna feel bad about it. Nobody ever taught me how, I wish they did, but no pasa nada. What are we gonna cook first? Is this, that's the steak. That's gonna cook quick. The chorizo is gonna cook very slow and it's gotta be on low heat. So I'm gonna put all the chicken on right now. That was really messy. I'm gonna try my best to tear off the skins, but I'll be honest, I don't really mind skin. And in fact, I'm not gonna tear off the skin. I can already tell you the skin is gonna be flavorful because you can eat these peppers before they're dried up. Yeah, this one's soft. This is going to be the only one that makes salsa. This one might not make salsa at all, but it's okay. No la pasa nada. You're supposed to tear off the skin when you make a salsa and the mocajete. And I know that's a fact. But I know a little trick. I know my, uh, all the abuelas and the tias and the madres out there might not like it. But you can squeeze all the chili out of the chili peppers whenever you're like you know trying to make the salsa and then whenever you're ready 
the skin's just falling off the rock. So if it doesn't crush and get flat, Mirka, you can just throw it away then. I will say this. I don't remember anybody ever putting, like, not taking the peppers out like I am right now, but it's okay. By the way, when I do use my knife that my buddy Trey gave me to cook, I do wash it eventually. But yeah, it's working. You just gotta keep on mokaheting, mokaheting. In fact, I saw a lady do that one time, so I'm like, why don't we make all these rules up and say this is what you gotta do if something else works? It's easier for everyone else. And I'm gonna add a little bit of water back into it. That chicken's not cooking at all. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. No, huh? This thing is very convenient. It still scares the mess out of me. But here's the mocha hit the salsa now. Like I said, it's not a lot, but it's enough for me. Who else makes mocha hit the salsa on the back of their truck? Especially with ancho peppers. No one. I guess I get to deem what's authentic. If you know what I'm saying. What scares me is all these flames coming out of the bottom and I'm wearing socks that can catch on fire at any second. Uh, yeah, must may whore. That means much better in some other language. You can guess which one. If any of y'all were wondering, like me, if the chicken was actually cooking, I told you it was. Never doubted it. Okay, I doubted it. You want to see me drop some chorizo? Ha ha! Queso! I'm about to actually go on in and try the salsa and the, the carne asada and a little bit of queso fresco. Y'all can come with me. Cause these homeboys are gonna take a minute. I'm gonna add just a dash of salt. Just a dash of whatever that is, onion chili powder. Honestly, this looks good, just needs more water. I, I, like I said, I never make this. Someone always makes it for me. Add a little bit of queso fresco. About to add a little bit of my horrible salsa. This might look bad to real Mexicans because I'm not gonna eat this with tortillas. But if I like it, then it was worth it. That's so good. Mm. That's so good. Like I said, people eat the peppers, so. Mm. There you have it. You may sauce on the back of your truck. You make it at home. Make it wherever. It doesn't gotta look authentic. It don't gotta look great. That was the bomb. That is the bomb. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my carne asada for the night. Everyone, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Why I haven't been doing the videos lately. And I'll see y'all later. Alright, I added more water. Let's see if it tastes good.